Hi friends, happy to see you today this lovely summer afternoon. My name is Ina Davidson. I wanted to follow up my yesterday post about all the countries in the world. 230 countries in our world, can you imagine? Would you want to see at least half of them? Or maybe what someone wants to see all of them? I don't know if I want to see all of them, but I want to see most of them, definitely. Oh, let me introduce myself first. <laughs> My name is Ina Davidson. I live in Boston. I'm coming live to you from Boston, Massachusetts, United States. I live here for over 29 years now. I have family, I have kids, I love to travel, I'm a freelance graphic designer, I drive Uber, I love all the cultural stuff, I am a foodie, I love to try and go out, try new food, I love adventure, so that's why I'm coming to you live, talking about adventure, talking about travel, talking about seeing different things, expanding your horizons, so... That's what I wanted to ask you now, if we are, like I'm 40, 46 years old, oh boy, or 45, I forgot, I'm 45, <laughs> I forgot how old I am, well I'm 25, I feel 25, so it doesn't matter how old I am, <laughs> but if we are 30 or 40, 45, 50, 60 years old, how many years is going to take us to see 230 countries, even if we go each year to a different country, we're not going to see everything. So we need at least to see three countries a year to see all 230 countries in the world. Is there a way to speed up this process? What if you could see... I want to speed up this process. What if you could see... Uh, in one vacation, if you could see two to three to four countries and you could have four to five vacations a year. Isn't it awesome? So if but that could happen, you could see, for example, three, three vacations in a year, three countries in each vacation. So each year you could see nine countries. Well, I know usually we used to go one vacation, one country, one, one vacation a year. Now people usually do uh, two vacations a year. But... We want more. I want more. So I try to go maybe three, four times, three, four times a year to go travel, to go on adventure, to go on vacation. And there is a way. If you want a way, you find a way. So I'm going to share a couple of ways with you. So can you imagine if you could travel three or four times a year and each time you could see three different countries. So in a year you could see 10 countries. So... If we calculate 10 countries, 10 years, so in 10 years you could see 100 countries, and in 20 years you could see 200 countries. How awesome is that? Is it an awesome possibility? It is an awesome possibility. So one convenient way I know how to do that, it's cruising. I mean, I wish I could find a portal that I could do that, but there is no portal exists that can transport me from country to country each, each couple couple of days and if every couple of days in my vacation but during cruising it is kind of possible it's like your portal it's transporting you every two three days to different countries so if you decide if you want to see more countries in your lifetime use cruising of course it's it's uh, you can't see in one or two days you can't see everything in one city or in one country but but see cruising view cruising as the like a sample meal like a tapas like you go to a spanish restaurant you have tapas so view cruising as a tapas you actually might be able to see Maybe on a Greek island, so you could see an island in a day and you don't have to go back there. So it's, it would be enough. But in some countries, of course, it's bigger countries, bigger cities. So think of cruising as a tapas. And you can, it can help you identify places you want to come back and spend there longer. 
so you can sample all the countries in the cities most of the cities in the world through cruising and you can see for yourself where you want to come back for example you book a hotel in uh, some little island and you go there and you spend there two days and you've seen everything but you book there for a week wouldn't it be more convenient to go there for a day or two sample it for yourself and seeing oh i've seen radis in uh, Greece for a day that that could be enough one or two days and you don't have to come back or you went to Santorini and or Mykonos and you want to come back there for more days so you know that now but don't overspend don't over hello don't over spend and overestimate your time maybe in some places you don't need to spend more than one, one more than one or two days but isn't it exciting to have the opportunity to see the world, to see 200 countries in 20 years? So that's, that's actually, I, disco I discovered cruising when I was 25 or 26, and I actually celebrated my birthday on a cruise, so that was, that was very, very exciting. But then I actually, I said before that, I was saying cruises are not for me. Because, well, I like active vacations, I like walking, I like seeing, I don't like laying on the beach all the time. And I thought that's what you do on a cruise, you just lay around and do nothing and just hanging out in the sea. But it appeared to be so different, it appeared to be that it, I went to three destinations, I went to Cayman Islands, I went to Mexico, I went to Belize, and I've seen different countries in one cruise. Like I told you, three different countries. So that became very convenient. So I tried it again and I tried it again. And before I tried it the third time, actually two years ago, I discovered that it's actually a travel club that focuses on cruising. Like at that moment, it was focusing on cruising. Now it's focusing on everything, resorts and hotels and cruising. And why did it get my attention? It got my attention because... I didn't want to overspend anymore. I remember spending on my cruise with my daughter last time, two years ago, right before pandemic, I spent $2,000. And I realized I could have saved 50%. I could have saved 50% and I'm like, how, how, why I didn't know that before? So I was researching this possibility and I figured out that travel club, maybe you know which one I'm talking about, maybe not, but I'll mention it later. It, focuses exactly on that it focuses on saving money it focuses on uh, getting us out of debt and it focuses focusing on uh, well it's even doubling our budget so it's focusing on doubling our so it's doubling my budget so that's why it really really got my attention two years ago right before pandemic and you tell me oh right before pandemic they all cruising stopped during pandemic that's right it did but people realized that they want to travel after and they're traveling now and they s became members of of the club to double their budget to use it after the pandemic i know you'll say oh now the war is not the time but i'm telling you if i didn't do it two years ago i wouldn't have over five thousand dollars now for my cruising for my vacations so that's that's what i discovered how i can see the world faster more affordable and i want to see more so that's why i talk about the the club the travel club and i encourage people to find out more about it and actually i'm gonna do more detailed numbers presentation on my instagram at 3 p.m new york time so if you want to hear more numbers that's what i tell about about more numbers on my instagram account i posted after this uh, facebook live i post my Instagram account so you can go there you can join and hear more numbers how much is to become a member how much do you save how to become membership free how to travel for free how to not pay for your vacation anything at all so if you want to know all that you can join my Instagram account at three o'clock and I'm gonna share in in Russian but anybody if anybody wants it in English I can switch to English no problem and I can share that information. But that's what I thought about recently. 230 countries in the world. If I see one country per trip or one country per year, 
it's not going to be enough time for me to see everything. Oh, and I wanted to share the amazing discovery that I did yesterday about traveling. So I'm planning a trip, like I already planned the trip to Netherlands. I'm going with my daughter. I'm in the process of planning it. And I'm planning a trip to Israel in the fall. And because uh, I can fly through Turkey, I decided maybe I can I can try staying in Turkey for a couple of days since since it's Israel and Turkey close by. So I was researching that and I actually contacted a travel agent and I wanted her to help me plan the trip and maybe uh, help me with hotels. And I was telling her I want something under hundred dollars and I want something that may be located for me conveniently to be, I don't, I wasn't even sure should I be near airport or should I be in the center of uh, uh, Istanbul so I was trying for her to give me that information of course she didn't because I have to pay her for that but I was trying to tell her that I want something I want something uh, under hundred dollars per night and because there's I'm planning lots of trips <laughs> and she said oh I don't know if you could find those prices especially maybe in airport but in the city I have clients who who I book trips for 200 300 500 dollars per night and I'm like no I can't afford that I can't do that so uh, I went to in cruises site to the travel club that I'm talking about and I looked at the hotels at the Istanbul you're not gonna believe the prices I found I found in the city center I found prices $30 per night and $40 with breakfast and the travel agent said I would not be able to find anything below $100 in the city center. I actually went to booking a, a tra Travelocity. I went to some, I went to Travelocity or booking.com and I looked at the same hotel that I found in the, I found in the travel club and it was costing $229. $229 what I can book through Travel Club for $40. I went to the site of the hotel in Turkey and I looked at their prices and their prices were also $30 and $40, just the same as in cruises. But in cruises give me extra extra savings because I'm a member of in cruises. So it gives me extra, extra more savings. It gives me $7 savings per night so instead of forty dollars that i could have booked directly through the hotel i'm gonna book through through the travel club and it's gonna be 33 dollars per night city center breakfast included here you go so i'm, I'm thinking why do you need travel agent they're like ripping you a couple of hundred dollars and I was like hoping for help and some suggestions and stuff. And apparently you can all do it yourself. And if you know sources and if you know people, you can ask the right people and you go look at the right sources and sell yourself a couple hundred dollars. There is plenty of hotels I saw on, on the travel club site in Turkey that it was in the price range that I wanted it below hundred dollars. I even saw like $26 hotels. Yes, it wasn't, it wasn't completely in the city center maybe it was away a couple of minutes but it's available it's not 229 dollars so that's an example how you can use the right sources and save money not even on cruising but on hotels so that was my amazing discovery yesterday that that i don't have to overspend i don't have to pay 229 dollars for the same hotel that i can pay 33 dollars and because i'm doubling my budget because because uh, travel club doubling my budget so I'm saving even more I'm saving even more because I'm gonna sh I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like a peek uh, I'm putting aside with the travel with the travel club because I'm a member I'm putting aside little amount every month hundred dollars a month hundred dollars every month and they're doubling it and I'm having two hundred dollars for my travel specifically for booking cruises specifically for booking resorts specifically for booking hotels so that's how i'm doing it that's why i'm doing it because they're doubling my own money yes i can put a hundred dollars aside and then it's going to be five hundred dollars in five months but with the travel club it's going to be a thousand dollars in five months and you can already book your vacation for that money and you can save 
on your hotels and especially there's more savings for cruises much more but i was pleasantly surprised that i can save so much money on a hotel in uh, istanbul so i'm very excited to to do that and to to use that site to not spend 200 to 300 dollars a night that the travel agents tell us to that we have to spend to have quality hotel we can spend 40 and 30 dollars and have the same quality hotel and i'm having transfers like everything's the same everything's the same as the travel agent would would book for you you can knowing the sources you can do it yourself you just have to know the sources can you imagine people go to travelocity and booking.com and they for the same price i'm gonna book mine for 33 dollars they're gonna they're gonna spend 229 like it's boggling my mind it just i'm i'm in, i'm i'm shocked i'm shocked so if everybody wants to know the database if everybody wants to know the hotels the cruise uh, where the cruises are going it's five five thousand destinations let me know it's actually it's actually also over five thousand hotels resorts in in the world so you can book through that through that booking device as well and use use the savings use it for something else for gifts for souvenirs for just going to museums and traveling around and traveling more and not overspending a couple of hundred dollars for a night that you don't have to so that's my great discovery yesterday and i'm gonna tell i'm gonna share more numbers and more how to become a member how to save 25 percent how to save 50 percent i'm gonna share on my instagram account so if you want to know all those numbers but it's all available if you want to see it for yourself right leave me a comment and i'll send you a link where you can register for free and see it all for yourself see the prices see the destination see how you can save see how you can have even get extra cash maybe work a little have flexible schedule if you want extra money so it is all available and over a million people already using it including me including my friends including olga including Oksana here who joined me so they introduced me to this and i'm so happy i have that information i can share it with you because if i enjoy it if i like it if i can use it probably you can too so if it's useful for you if you know anybody that is useful and you if you want to share it with them please do please don't don't hide good information share <laughs> so i'm gonna wrap it up now if you want more details about the, my trips or which trips you can plan yourself through the site it's not very hard please message me directly or leave a comment and i'll be very happy to help you to start to get the information so you'll be well informed and you can make an informed decision and save hundreds and hundreds of dollars and see more places and not overpay so here's my here's my that's my five cents for today <laughs> thank you for everybody who was live with me and i will be sharing more about travel and about uh, hotels and cruising and saving money next week tuesday at 2 p.m it could be it will be it will be in russian but if anybody wants in english let me know i'll do more often in english and i'll be happy just to share good stuff with you and hopefully you'll use it and it'll bring you benefits have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and Bye-bye, everybody.